Today we will be showing you how to set up your Jukebox Mini. So after you've taken it out of the packaging, the first thing you want to get are the materials that you'll need. So first things first, grab one of your discs or the disc that was given to you, depending on which uh, version you purchased. In this case I have Pig Step here, as well as your power cord that came with your Jukebox Mini connected to some sort of power source. I have a uh, iPhone battery pack here, but it can work with anything that connects to USB. So first things first, you want to take your micro USB cord and plug it into the Jukebox Mini's micro USB port. So let's do that now. Once that cord has been plugged in, you will then want to flip your Jukebox Mini over and make sure that the on-off switch on the circuit board on the bottom is set to on. Now, once you've confirmed that, you can flip it back over again and insert your Minecraft disc. I find that having the disc sticker identity part on facing away from the locking pin uh, gives you the best result, but it can go in both ways. So once you put it in the top, you'll want to press down all the way. And as you do that, move the locking pin into place, locking the Jukebox Mini into place. Just like so. Once the Jukebox Mini is turned on, you'll hear a quick chime, and that's how you know that it's ready to pair with the Bluetooth device of your choosing. It will automatically pair um, once you turn the Jukebox Mini on by putting the disc in. If it doesn't, try pressing the pause play button a few times until you get to the Bluetooth connectivity mode. So now from here, you want to connect to the device that says KH-Q5. You click that and it will connect. Your Jukebox Mini is now connected to your phone and or any other Bluetooth compatible devices, so you can now play music from your phone. To get to any other mode, what you want to do is flip your Jukebox Mini over, and you'll see the settings are right here. These buttons all have different meanings. This is the backtrack button but it also functions as the volume down button. If you quickly press it, it will backtrack. If you long press it, it will turn the volume down. Same goes for the fast forward button. If you press this button quickly, it'll skip the track, and if you long press on this button, you will get more volume. Now this is the button that switches the input. This is the pause play button. So again, if you quickly press it, it'll pause slash play whatever you're playing. But if you long press it, it will change the inputs between Bluetooth mode, FM radio mode, USB mode, which is most likely not going to be used in your case, and SD card mode. To switch inputs, Let's long press on this. You'll hear that it is now connected to the FM radio. If we long press on that again, it'll connect to the USB mode. And if we long press on that one more time, it is now playing whatever is on the SD card, which you can also switch slash expand the memory on. One more thing too, is if you're on FM root mode, to change different stations on FM mode, use the fast forward and backtrack buttons. To scan for new stations, quickly press the pause play button. That will scan for any new stations that can be picked up via the antenna. When you're done playing with your Jukebox Mini, you can either turn off the power bank or whatever power source it's connected to, or 
you can quickly push this latch back and that will release the disc from the container and cut the power to the jukebox completely, like so. That is the quick setup guide to the Jukebox Mini. If you have any questions, please reach out via the email info.jukeboxmini at gmail.com. Be looking forward to hearing from you.